Hi guys, and here's a tutorial for Motion 5, where I'm going to be showing you how we can create 3D text. Uh, this is going to use the M Object plugin available for Motion VFX. Um, so if you don't have it, it's definitely worth getting hold of. If you want to work with 3D objects in Motion, it's the way to go. Um, there are ways of creating a 3D type text effect in Motion using the standard tools. But um, 3D editing and 3D text and extrusion tools really is not something that Apple um, included in Motion. It's not meant to really to be a 3D editing software. Um, so if you have something like 3D Studio Max or Cinema 4D or Maya and you can export um, uh, 3D objects, then you can use M Object to, um, as a plugin and interface to bring those 3D objects into Motion 5 or Final Cut Pro. Um, it also has a built-in um, text, a 3D text editor, which allows you to generate 3D text, true 3D text, in uh, Motion 5 that you can spin around and you can move the camera around and then you can add all of your other types of um, usual motion visual effects to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, if you've already got hold of M Object and installed it in Motion 5 under Generators, you'll find Motion VFX, you'll find M Object. So we'll add one of those to our scene there. And then when we go over to the Inspector, we can go to Edit Text. There are no text layers present in the scene. Do you wish to create one? So you go to Create. And then it will bring up this um, text edit box here. So it comes with some default text. Um, it says M object. Uh, we could change that to um, say wh wh whatever you want. Um, let's say Motion 5. Uh, you can change the font to be whichever font it is you want to work in. Um, so let's go with this and we can edit our font size. All sorts of other parameters that you can edit here. These will be the 3D parameters, so the, the, the bevel distance, smoothness, etc. etc. So if we add a camera to our scene and switch to 3D, you can see now we can begin to spin around this 3D text here. Now it looks a little bit flat, as you can see, it's looking odd there because we've got no lights in our scene, so there's nothing creating shadows or anything in there right now. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just go over and create a light let's add this to our scene here and we'll add another one and another one let's say here all right now these lights we want them all to cast shadows so we'll turn shadows on okay now we'll go over to our m object and when we go down to shadows, for our object, we want to hit tick enabled. So that will enable our objects to also cast shadows when the light is shining on them. Um, we can turn on and off uh, the scenery. That would be a kind of background for our text that comes with M object. Um, so that's basically it. That's how you can get 3D text into uh, Motion 5 uh, and be able to spin around it and whatnot. And then, and then you can texture this as well. See if we go over to um, edit our scene. We can add a texture then to this text. So come down to the shaders here. Let's say let's go for pink plastic. And we just drag that onto our object there. And there now we have a pink plastic um, text. We turn on our scenery lighting. So then we get a kind of reflection of the scenery that's around us. We can change the scenery to be something else. It gives us different types of lighting effects and reflections. So when you've got what it is that you want, let's go with this. Uh, sorry, I forgot to apply that. Go to OK. All right. So we're going with some clouds, kind of sky 
here. So there's our um, text now in our pink plastic. We hit OK. That'll update our scene. And there we have our pink text here in Motion 5. And that's uh, how we can create real 3D text here. And then, of course, you can animate this as you would animate anything else in motion just using a normal keyframe animation. Um, it's a little bit render intensive, so you may want to turn down the, the render quality so that um, it it's, uh, doesn't slow down your machine too much. This is a little bit slow also because I'm also doing screen capture recording at the same time. But uh, that is... A basic um, introduction to uh, M Object. There's a lot more you can do with it. Um, if you head over to motionvfx.com, you can purchase the M Object plugin there, and they've got loads of tutorials also showing you um, what you can do with, with, with M Object. It's really quite a cool plugin. This is just a, a quick kind of introduction to how we can create uh, real 3D text in Motion 5 and uh, be able then to apply all of our usual motion effects or you could integrate this to um, your video sequence. Uh, so thanks for tuning in and uh, I hope you find this useful. If you did, please go over to my blog um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like the video also. Uh, so thanks for tuning in.